Another trip to the Goodwill, another Xbox was found. They say this one has a bad disk drive. I don't know if they mean DVD drive or actual hard drive, so it's good for parts. Well, I think we can do better than that. I think we can just make it work again. Also picked up another controller. Okay, back on the Xbox here. Let's see. Uh, it's pretty damn filthy. Whoever had it didn't take care of it or it sat in a closet or something somewhere for a long time. They had another one up there today, too, that had a mod chip in it. And they thought that was cool, so they wanted 60 freaking dollars for it. I just let it sit. I have... I guess this will be number 12 or 13. I have a whole closet full of these that I've bought and repaired and modded over the years. Uh, the last one I bought was a 1.6 they had up there. And it was in such mint condition that I just put it away and let it be. I didn't even <laughs> worry about modding it. And with a 1.6, you don't have to worry about the whole battery leak. Or not the battery leak, but the uh, clock cap leak issue that eats the boards up. Oh, let's see what the build date on this puppy is. It'd be nice if I could get the camera to focus. So, January 4, 20, 2004. So that would make it anywhere from a 1.2 to a 1.5 model. I didn't start making the 1.6 models until April of 2004, I believe. It's probably not 100% accurate, but I have a feeling this is probably like a 1.4 model. Which if it is, that's good, because we can T-SOP it and flash new BIOS into it. Yeah, it's pretty damn filthy up in there. Fans cake full of shit. So this one's gonna require our tear down and cleaning it anyway. Nobody's been in it yet, the seals are still good. Should be a screw hole right there. And another one somewhere right in here. Yeah, right there. That's the other screw hole. So let's plug it in and see what it does. Alright, we got it hooked up. Let's see if it'll power on. Well, the disk drive didn't sound too good. Well, it is booting up. Alright, well, we got the dead clock cap, as usual. controller in here and the disc tray opened on its own so that's probably what it is it's a Samsung it has two holes yep got DVD drive problems that's always what's wrong with these things even with the crappy hard drives they put in them you still end up being faulty DVD drive in them See if it opens again. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. That time I don't want to go back in. Mm-hmm. Alright, let me get this controller connected. Let's see what dashboard it has on it. because I got a feeling it's definitely not a 1.6 it's too old by just a few months yeah 5101 is the kernel and 5960 is the dash 5960 was the Xbox Live dashboard I believe alright so we know the problem is disk drive issues and it says it's so freaking filthy inside, it's probably going to need to be cleaned, lubed, and we'll clean and do the belt. 
And if it is older, if it has a clock capacitor, we'll have to remove the clock capacitor, assuming it hasn't spooged all over the board and ate everything up on the board out of there. So it's time to pop this Xbox's cherry. Well, I got it to boot again. Basically, let the drive guide the drive back in with your finger and just hold it. Yeah, I put my old crusty copy of Halo 2 I got in one of the Xboxes a while back. It's beat all to hell, but it still plays. So, so we know the laser's good. We just got to clean the mechanical parts of the drive up, lubricate everything, and we ought to be okay. Samsung drive, just as I suspected, with the two holes in the center. Let's see about cleaning it up. It has fur babies in it. Crappy old CA hard drive. And it has the focus encoder in it, so just about. So here's the inside. And it's pretty crusty. Take it out, clean it. Heat sink needs to be cleaned. It's definitely not a 1.0. The 1.0 had a uh, fan over the top of the GPU. Power supply capacitors look good. Motherboard capacitors are all good except for the usual suspect. This guy right here, this is your clock capacitor. These things are garbage take them out. If you have a 1.4 or older Xbox, take this out. This one's already leaked. There's like sticky residue nastiness. See that? That's where the acid has leaked out, or not the acid, but the electrolyte has leaked out all over everywhere in here. This was not too bad. I have seen them get so bad. Matter of fact, I believe my original Xbox that I bought new it was so bad, and I didn't know about it for years until I finally was uh, reading about it one night, that it literally ate some of the uh, surface mounts, capacitors, off the board. So, get this thing out of your Xboxes, people. It will trash them if you don't. Uh, this one is definitely a candidate for a T-SOP mod. Matter of fact, it would be great if I had a mod chip, because there you go. LPC port right here, you can just go right to it. It'd be perfect. That's your regular IDE cable. There used to be a thing back in the day, people said, oh, you can switch these ATA33 cables out, put ATA66 cables in and get more uh, throughput. I ain't 100% sure these boards even supported ATA66 or ATA100 or 133 for that matter. So. So the very first thing we're going to do for this before before I do anything else is we're going to get this damn capacitor out of here. Disconnect the fan. Disconnect the... Let's see, where are they? So your controller ports. This is all x86 hardware in here. Got your NVIDIA uh, Enforce 2 chipset. You got memory modules. You got here and here, and I think there's two more on the back, video encoder, focus chip, uh, this is your BIOS chip right here, in this case this one has a wind bond in it, I mean they're just straight up, you know, 733, uh, some say they're Sauron, some say they're Pentium 3 cup mines, I think it's just a variant, it's basically a GeForce 2 video card in here. The controller ports are USB ports with one extra wire and a proprietary interface, but it's still USB. Um, I think the extra wire is to signal the console if the controller is connected or not, but nonetheless, all this has to come loose. That's got to come loose. This is your front port connector for your power switch and eject. That's got to come out. Other controller port connection has to come out. And then we gotta get this. This is the pain in the ass one. The uh, original Xbox ones used a more of an old AT style 
anybody who remembers old AT motherboards like three sixes and four sixes had the, the single single railed slide on before ATX come along. Oh, there's a pain in the ass to get loose. Alright, now there's a whole bunch of torque screws in here. I think it's T10, I think. I gotta pull all those out to get to the uh to get the motherboard out. So there's where the clock cap was. You can see where it had leaked. I don't know how well the camera's focusing on it, but you can see right in here. Focus. You can see all that right in there. That's where the acid or the electrolyte had leaked out, which basically is acid, I guess. But uh, you can see where it had leaked out and started eating the board up. It had leaked out all over these components, uh, right in here. It leaked out all over these surface mount components. It leaked all out over into here, all out into here. I mean, all this had to be had to be cleaned. Uh, this time around, I used uh, vinegar. Cleaned it with vinegar, and then went back and went back over with alcohol. As you can see, uh, that first Q-tip right there was the first beginnings of it. You leave that stuff on there, it will literally destroy the pads. Once the pads are destroyed, the surface mount components will deteriorate and basically fall off the pads. So, like I said, if you have a 1.0, 1.2, 1.4, I think there might be a 1.3, I can't remember. Anyway, if you have anything other than a 1.6 model Xbox, remove that clock cap. 1.6, they re-engineered the entire board to try and do away with mod chippers. And uh, they used a much higher quality Nichicon uh, cap. Matter of fact, here is the cap. I don't know how well that's going to show up. There, I put a little light on it. You could clearly see where the electrolyte had leaked out of the bottom of the cap. It's a notorious problem. I have yet to see one that hasn't had it. They all leak. Yeah, like I say, it chews the motherboards up. So uh, I went ahead and made the, I believe this is a 1.4 based on the focus and cutter chip that it has. So I went ahead and did the 7D10 uh, and the 7D2 bridging that will allow us to uh, reprogram the Windbond BIOS here. Alright, so here's the Samsung DVD drive from the Xbox. Got the top off of it, got the tray out of it. Uh, we need to clean the band up for sure, maybe grease these gears a little bit. Uh, you can tell there's quite a bit of dirt in here, as you can see. We need to clean all this out as best we can, all the way through the entire thing. We're just used and abused. Nobody took care of it. So we know the optics work. We'll, we'll give them a little bit of a cleaning, gentle cleaning. Um, there's three different sets of optics in these drives, Samsung drives. So if you do have a bad optical pickup, um, make sure you get the replacement that matches what's in your drive. For some reason there's three different variations of the lens. So, so I get this cleaned up and lubricated up. Um, to get the tray out, there's these little clips. There's these stops right here. And basically what you do is you take a flathead like this, a little precision screwdriver, and you push down on them gently. And then while you're doing that, take your other two take two other fingers and slide the tray out. And that's how you get the tray out of these drives. So Alright, time to do some cleaning, see if we can get it to function right. Finally got our fan cleaned up. what all come out of it. Pretty disgusting. These people must have been smokers. Well, let me ask a question. What kind of air must a person breathe to 
cause rust. Explain that one. Silver, no, no real rust anywhere else in it. But yet, where the airflow goes out, rust. How does that happen? Must be some seriously corrosive uh, nicotine, I guess, because it was a pretty dirty fan. I think it's a lot of nicotine. Nasty. It has to be a broken trace on the board, so yeah, see, now it's going to go back and start doing it again. And now it'll quit. It's a trace on the board, on the board inside the drive somewhere that's busted. Um, I think I have a 1.6, or I don't know, 1.6, what am I thinking? I think I have another one of these uh, Samsung drives in one in my closet that has a bad laser. And I might could swap the boards. I may swap the main board and see if that fixes it. Well, the problem is there I said earlier in this video that there are I think there's three different optical pickups for these Samsung drives. So I have to make sure that it's the same optical pickup between the two drives. Knock knock. Got to be a broken trace somewhere on the board. So that'll be fun. I am not going to troubleshoot that for the rest of the night. And then I don't ever use the drives of these machines anyway. Once I get them going, unless I install a, a game off the drive, usually I just FTP the files over to it. But you don't want one with the drive sticking out all the freaking time. It's funny that it does it in here, yet the main board is back there. Man, this is definitely a broken trace. So I got the disk drive to behave about, I'd say, 90% of the time. Like I said, I'm pretty sure there's a trace broken. But for the most part, It seems to be doing okay, yeah. Every, say, five or ten, ten ejects, it'll cop an attitude. Yeah, see, so it'll cop an attitude every so often. Not much I can do about it, because it's in the actual board. See, after like two tries, it'll quit. And that's fine. Mostly I want the the <laughs> the disk drive will get used maybe one or two more times and then that that'll be it because once you put a drive in it you just load your games on it. And then you don't worry about the drive anymore. So, like I say, every maybe one out of ten times it'll act up. Alright, so that's going to do it for now. Uh, if you want to see how T-Sops are done, I have a video. Actually, I don't think I have a two-part video here on my channel that explains the basics behind it.